You're currently watching The Beauty Show. You won't want to miss what's coming up next, so stay tuned and we'll be right back. Today may be my last dental appointment. Yay! Welcome back. Finally, after a long journey to her smile makeover, Barb's dream comes true. You just wouldn't expect it to involve a motorcycle. All right, let's go do it. biker dentist. <laughs> this is actually the mascot of Pima Dental. This is Jack. And this is Jilly Bear. This is Jack's sister. Say hi, Jill. But we made two sets of veneers anyway, just so that we can see uh, what's going to look better for her, just gingival contouring and translucency as compared to her top smile, which is partially in right now. We're going to finish up her top smile today. We already have in eight of the units. Uh, we're gonna put in the front two today. I'm here to watch the veneers go in after all the hard work of making them. Uh, I just wanna see Barbara with the teeth in and uh, get the finished product. So I'm here to help Bruce if he needs any uh, adjustments on the veneers as well, so. All right, Barbara. Hello. You ready? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm ready if you're ready. Super slippery. Okay, so Barbara, right now, I'm gonna actually just make some incisions into the temporary veneer that's going to allow me to take these off mm -hmm. without doing any damage to the teeth underneath the underlying tooth structure. So I'm going to put some safety glasses on you now, okay Barbara? Yes. Okay, great. Sitting out here waiting for my wife who's getting her teeth worked on, Barb, and uh, just biding my time. I'll probably start uh, working. It'll be a few hours, so. We are slightly microns longer on the mesial and sizolytic number eight. We'll polish that down after these are bonded in. This has been time tested, the Variolink Ivoclar system. It's worked very well for me over the years. And these veneers are going in right now. Okay, Barbara, now I'm just gonna take off all the excess cement that you have, the bonding cement between your veneers. And this is gonna allow you to floss. Once I light cure these with the UV light, these babies are in permanently. And her gums will just adapt to this and she'll be able to floss and keep them clean. And these things will be looking great in, in no time. With upper and lower lip enhancements, Dr. Weiss improves Lisa's pouty look. Hey. Hi. How's it going? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. excited to do your lips today. I'm going to put a little... Nervous. No, don't be nervous. I'm going to do a little dental block, so we're going to numb you up real good. Just like you go to the dentist, we're going to put, just from inside your mouth, a little bit of lidocaine. All right. Um, the thing with, with any kind of fillers, I like to do, I find that less is more. So, and especially in the lips, you don't want to overdo it. Um, you know, if you didn't walk in here thinking you want to look like Angelina Jolie, well then... That's not what we're going to do today, right? So, um, <laughs> so yeah, and, and it can be, you know, when, when we when we fill the lips, when we when we give you a little more definition and fullness to the lip, it can be um, something that you need to get used to for a little while. So, you got you all numbed up. You're feeling pretty numb in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, just like you went to the dentist, right? Right. <laughs> okay. We're going to start with the top lip. Let's take a look. Oh, that looks really good. So we plumped up right along the, we call that the vermilion border, which is the border between the red part and the, so we gave you a more plump appearance there and we plumped up the center of your bottom lip, gives you a nice pouty look. And I think that looks really great. It's gonna look great with your dental work. <laughs> I'm excited for that. <laughs> Intense and more than skin deep, Lisa receives a laser treatment on her face. Okay, Lisa, so we're gonna be doing the Affirm Laser. Um, it's a treatment for skin rejuvenation, and it's gonna to help to stimulate collagen, which is gonna tighten your skin. It's gonna help for your pores. It's gonna improve your overall complexion. And we've already numbed up your skin. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna feel just a little snapping sensation, and then you're gonna feel warmth, and that's what we want you to feel. That's the 
tissue really heating up and that's what's stimulating your collagen. How, uh, how long does the redness tend to last? You'll be red for about 24 to 48 hours. Okay. Some people maybe will go on into a third day, but it's really that first couple of days that you're going to be red. Um, so very minimal downtime. You shouldn't expect any um, oozing from the skin, any scabbing or anything like that. So this shouldn't be dry or flake no, so much? No, you're not going to peel. You're just going to feel um, warm and a bit inflamed for the next couple of days. Okay. Then you'll get a beautiful glow. Yay. Yeah, we call that the post-affirm glow. <laughs> all right, Lisa, you're all set. Great. Who wouldn't want less fine lines and wrinkles? Dr. Weiss exposes Botox myths. Botox has gotten some bad press over the years. Um, people are worried about whether or not it's botulism, and it's not. You know, when, when it's made by Allergan, it's a purified protein um, that really, when used in cosmetic for cosmetic purposes, um, has never been shown to have any adverse effects. So we're going to do some Botox um, today just um, right along the brow here and a little bit just out laterally, which is just gonna help to raise the whole brow complex up just a little bit. Not so much that you look startled, but just so it gives you a more awake look. Okay. Um, you'll just look more well-rested. And then we're gonna do some just along um, the forehead to help with the horizontal um, forehead lines that you have when you raise your brows up mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, right in there. So Does it take care of these ones? It is, okay. yep. So the, the injections that we do here are gonna help with that little 11 sign that you get okay. in between. <laughs> the brows and then we're gonna um, treat the forehead area um, to help for those horizontal lines. Okay. And then lastly what we'll do is just a few injections around the um, outside of the eyes just to help for those very fine crow's feet lines that you're starting to develop. Join us again next Tuesday when Lisa and Barb give a smiling farewell to their dentist. Plus it's Barb's turn for med spa treatments but most importantly there's only one episode left before the reveal. You won't want to miss Lisa and Barb's race to their makeover finish line with weight loss and exercise. Lisa Ellis and Barb Hoffman are making excellent progress on their makeover journey. Like clay in the hands of a sculptor, they entrust themselves to the outstanding talents of the beauty team. Please visit our website at www.thebeautyshow.com where you can read Barb and Lisa's weekly updates to get more details about what they're going through. On our website, you can also learn more about the beauty team's experience, qualifications, and contact information. Thank you for your interest in our show. Join us next Tuesday. Have a great week.